I adored it. Um, I agree also with her with the cutting back and forth was everything. So like the pull the punches and everything. Um, it definitely took me to a personal experience of my own where I had to release some mm, from physical abuse and it was just, yeah, it was just the punch in the bag is such a magical reference and such a release that I just want to recommend everyone do that. <laughs> <laughs> to, I just, yeah, it was simple, it was beautiful, you didn't even see the end and you got the whole story. Which I was a huge fan of when someone could tell the whole story and do a full circle. And sometimes you don't even, you don't even need to show the end, but you get it. I really like the idea and the and the story of the film. It's really simple but very powerful. And I really like the way they cutting back and forth between the flashback and the the, the boxing uh, boxing training. You know, we we are getting inside to this like character's mind and see what's going on in her mind and really feel the emotion emotion like of her. One of the things I really enjoy about this film is the fact that the the, the um, director is conveying a message to the, uh, many women about having a uh, sexual assault, and the fact that she was uh, and the fact that she was sitting there and meeting this guy, this unknown um, uh, subject, and basically how he was being she was being sexually abused by him, and he recalled it. She recalled that. And she was being, she was just sitting there being dramatized about it, and it just made her like, and what the like I mentioned as the director tried to convey a message that women fight back when it comes to this, this fight back, and it kind of gives uh, it kind of gives us a picture of uh, what to prevent of sexual abuse. I think it was definitely a cautionary tale, and uh, it was shown in such a way that. Um, it seems innocent enough, you know, you meet with somebody and they're asking you how drunk you are, and, you know, oh, what kind of a person are you, and you're laughing and enjoying, and before you know it, you know, the person's drunk and without a choice in the matter. So um, I, I like that it was a positive influence. What can you do about that situation? You know, it's after the fact, but it's still, um, for the future, what can you do? You can prepare yourself. I just want to say that from the first scene and just the name of the film and like the first scene of the party uh, as just like, I don't know, a woman in our current society, um, in my experience as a woman or a person in general, um, and all of what might have happened to me in the past. Uh, okay, that sounds awkward. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's just like... I just knew, you know, what it was going to be about, um, and I liked that it was, like, kind of preparing me for my trigger, you know, uh, I don't know if they did that on purpose or not, but I liked that it was, like, hey, this might be something that might be triggering, um, so just from, like, the first flash of the party, and then the word hit, and it just something, like, sunk inside my tummy, and I was, like, oh, I, I know what this is, um, and I don't I don't think that's particularly like a good thing. I, I, and I like how the film is like, as everyone has said, get up and, and fight back. Like, don't just take it. Yeah, awesome. Yeah.